さらに今日に門というのは四条仏願の消費本末を聞いて自信あることなしこれを門というなり新人というはすなわち本願力エコーの新人なりと。Thus, what is known as to hear in the sutra is for multitudinous beings to hear the origin and arising, the foundation and completion of the Buddha's vow without the existence of the heart of doubt. This is what is called to hear. 新人 faith, is, in other words, The transferring of merit of the power of the foundational vow. This is Shinji. The passage that I'm quoting from is found in the chapter on faith in the Kyogyo Shinsho, which is the text of the foundation of the Shinshu Buddhism. This is again a very, very important passage in that Shina Shonin is talking to us about what it means to hear, what is oftentimes Described as our quote unquote practice. This passage is meant to help to explain the fulfillment clause of the foundational vow that says, upon hearing the Buddha's name and title, having the faith of joy with even a single thought moment. Then one will immediately go to be born in the pure land of Amida Buddha. And so this passage is meant to help to explain to us what it means to hear the Buddha's name and title, what it means for us to hear Namu Amida Buddha. Shina Shonin tells us that we need to not just hear that the vow was fulfilled, but To hear the origin and arising, the foundation and completion of the Buddha's vow. In other words, we are being asked to hear the heart of Amida Buddha. What is this heart of Amida Buddha? It is wisdom and compassion. And it is understanding this truth that is what helped Shina Shonin. To understand the vow, to understand why Amida Buddha became a Buddha. A Buddha does not become a Buddha to be worshipped. A Buddha does not become a Buddha to become superior. A Buddha becomes a Buddha. Not just to eliminate one's own suffering. A Buddha becomes a Buddha to help all living beings to discover the ultimacy of the life that any of us, all of us, has received. A Buddha is trying to help us. To discover the joy that is faith, the faith that understands that my life, all life, has meaning and value. Okay, thanks. This is the truth that a Buddha is trying to help us to understand. <laughs> Shina Shonin, in having this new perspective. Of what the Buddha Dharma path is, was finally allowed to open up to the truth and reality as to why Shakyamuni Buddha appeared in this world. It was not simply to let us know that it is possible to become a Buddha. It was not to become a role model for us. So that we too would practice as diligently as Shakyamuni Buddha did. Instead, Shina Shoni saw that the reason why Shakyamuni Buddha appeared in this world was to help us to hear this foundational vow, the fundamental vow of Amida Buddha. 
And in doing so, Sakamuni Buddha also shared with us wisdom and compassion. What is the wisdom that was shared with us? The wisdom of Amida Buddha is expressed in the vow. It says, if there are any not born, I will renounce Buddhahood. It is a wisdom that understands that without the happiness, without the joy of everyone, that true happiness and joy is not really possible. It is for this reason why Shina Shonin reminds us that the vow does not choose between the old or young, between male or female. These distinctions do not matter to the vow. All the vow is looking at is each and every one of us, a living being, a person who struggles with the day in and out of living. Life is not easy. This is one of the first things that Chakamuni Buddha taught. Whereas life is not easy, especially because we do not view the world correctly, because we do make discriminations, because we do make distinctions, because we say, I am more worthy than you. Because we let anger and stupidity rule over our lives, we oftentimes cannot understand the wisdom of the Buddha. Fortunately, the compassion of the Buddha reaches us as well. It is a compassionate movement of the Buddha that allows us to finally hear the words that say, if you cannot become a Buddha like me, I will gladly give up being a Buddha. If you are unwilling or unable to reach where I am, I will gladly go down to where you are. This is how important your life is to me. And it does not matter how great a reward I may or may not have achieved is if I cannot share it with you. This is the compassionate heart that is Namo Amida Utsu. It is because of this heart that the vow that the Buddha does not care how we might distinguish ourselves from others. Because each and every life is special. And because each and every life is special, the Buddha reminds us that there is no reason or need for us to prove that we need, that we can exist in this world. Our being alive is proof enough for the Buddha. It is why Namo Amidabutsu is shared with us so freely. It is why the Buddha is helping us to hear the name. It is why all the Buddhas throughout the Ten Directions praise the Buddha's name, trying to make sure that we can hear this name and title of the Buddha that informs us of the heart that is Namo Amidabutsu. Because Sina Shonin was able to see that the Buddha was not a goal, that the Buddha was not a role model, but instead that the Buddha was constantly sharing with us wisdom and compassion, that the Buddha was constantly embracing us, never forsaking us, that the Buddha was constantly nurturing us, guiding us. It was this shift in perspective that allowed Sinan Shoni to say things like, Kimyo Mumyo Junyo Lai, Namo Fukashiki Ko. I take refuge in the Buddha of immeasurable life. I take refuge in the Buddha of inconceivable life. 
he was able to discover the beauty that is his life. A beauty that was so deep and rich that he had to share this joy with all of us. It is this joy that has been handed down from generation to generation that allows us to hear this fundamental vow of the Buddha that is fulfilled as Namo Amidabha Tzu. Hopefully as we continue together, together with each other as a Sangha of the Nembutsu, we will discover how to hear this name of the Buddha that says that my life and your life is the same life. That without your life, my life is not as meaningful. Hopefully, we will be able to hear these words and share this heart with each other and appreciate more deeply what it means to be part of a Sangha, what it means to share the Nembutsu together, what it means to be able to express our joy together, to help one another discover just how special each and every moment really is, regardless of how happy or sad it may be, to know that my life does, in fact, have meaning and value, and that there is a Buddha that is willing to give up Buddhahood itself just to remind us how true this really is. Hopefully we hear all of this. Hopefully we understand the heart of the Buddha and in this are moved to say Namo Amidabha Tzu. With this thought, please allow me to conclude my adult message. Thank you all once again for continuing to come and share in the services here at the Gardena Buddhist Church and helping each other and everyone to hear the heart that is not one with double two. Thank you. Namanda, 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 Namanda.